Hey guys, Attorney Walter Not. It is freezing up here. It is like beyond pumpkin patch cold. I want to get right to the basics of this thing because it is Thursday. I go live tonight, so I'm taking a little bit of the day to go ahead and work outside. My staff is catching up the calls and things like that. I'm all caught up on motions and my hearing, so uh, basically I'm out here to go ahead and keep painting. My goal is to get the uh, run-in shed with all the shingles coated with this heavy white paint, this roofing paint, and also the floor of the tack, no, sorry, the floor of the loft coated with the paint uh, as well. That way, if there's any leaks or any problems or any whatevers, it doesn't get to the ply because the plywood, the moment that gets wet, it is the diva of the wood world. Literally, if you don't dry it out right away, it starts to buckle, it starts to cringe, it starts to cry and whine and bitch. So we're gonna make sure it's covered and it's happy. Now, with that said, my goal is to get to doing this stuff uh, on the barn's roof, which is super steep, which is gonna suck, uh, when I basically get to Saturday. So my goal is Saturday up on that roof. Now, that roof is gonna take a while, probably, you know, <sighs> the entire weekend, plus, I don't know, probably five or six days of just the five to about eight when it really gets cold and dark. And the whole reason why it's taking so long is that I'm applying it by hand with a brush because when you roll this stuff, it doesn't get underneath the uh, shingles. And if you don't get underneath the shingles, what happened in my house with Hurricane Ian is the water got under and now it's rotting the roof under and it's starting to do this like, uh, you know, this action where the roof is coming in with the plywood is just completely sagging out. So bottom line, um, I'm applying it by uh, brush, by hand. My wrists are already killing me doing the little bit I've already done. I will catch you guys a little bit later because it is really cold, but first, let me give you a quick little summary as to how beautiful this place is. Ready? One, two, three, check this out. Super gorgeous. Look at those trees. There's the camera. You can see the trees are just starting to go ahead and change. Now, I want to point out one thing real quick. You can see these trees over here. Looks like they have stuff growing on them and they're not really flourishing. They're all pretty much dying. all these vines on them and the vines basically get up top and they kill the top of the tree so what we're gonna be doing during the winter is I think those are on his property but I know him I could probably go talk to him but the bottom line is we're gonna go to all there's a forest here too so it's gonna take forever but during the winter we're gonna go into the forest and cut the vines at the bottom so that they all die so that these trees look a lot healthier that are not part of like the landscape where we obviously have been taking care of them all these years once we get all those vines down, these trees are less likely to fall down and I will have fewer trees to go ahead and chop up that have fallen down. But there's a little moment there, a little bit of time where when the vines die, oh, it's so cold. Ooh, that is not a sound effect, guys. That's the actual um, oh. Okay, so the deal is once I cut them, they'll start sagging and they'll still have the leaves on them for a little bit. During that time, we're gonna see a massive amount of trees falling over because the weight of those leaves and those vines will be waving in the wind and cause the trees basically to do this more and then fall over. So we'll probably have a bunch of trees fall over during that time, but then after that we should be good to go. We should be with some happy trees. And there's some monsters on this property. Some of these trees are, you know, over three foot wide at the base. I think one of them's like four foot, maybe even five foot. So anyways guys, I will catch you a little bit later. Go from there. Have fun. Bye-bye.